head to head with uh, House of the Dragon and the Rings of Power out both right now. The competition or their competition isn't each other. It's the future. I really like this because uh, I'm excited for some content, just some more content that's coming out. And I don't know if everybody <laughs> is on the same page with the shows right now, but I like this little blurb right down here. Blurb just right down here. Um, where was it? Pitting the House of Dragon against the Rings of Power sparked business narratives, critical narratives, and just plain weird narratives as the world grapples with two monster franchises going head-to-head -head over the course of seven weeks. With stakes this high, watching networks chase each other's tails is entertainment enough, so it would always be tempting to put the Prime Video and HBO mega prequels against each other, but the less fun, more likely scenario isn't a winner-take-all deathmatch where a single king... Uh, ads where a single king is crowned come October. It's a long drawn out fight for TV's future. I really like that line because I feel like some competition on the streaming service market kind of in similar categories is great for all of us. Just like we talk about like uh, DC stepping up their game and uh, becoming, not becoming more relevant, but just competition on the market breeds ingenuity, ingenuity or engine. Yes. And uh, breeds new ideas, new stories, new narratives, new developments. It brings us more. And me, as somebody who likes uh, taking in streaming media and video games and content, I see 14 weeks. I see 14 weeks of two amazing shows because I'm not going to be able to binge this whole thing and sitting down. And there's a lot going on right now with titles and shows and movies. So I'm curious on what you guys think about uh, if this are if you guys were able to read the article about whether or not they're really competing with each other or the future of streaming media and television. Uh I I'm um I haven't been watching Lord of the Rings yet because I don't want to get in two of them at the same time. I don't know if you guys feel that way too. Like I don't want to get into both of them at the same time. I don't feel like I'll mix them up. But uh I have been doing the House of Dragon as much as I can. I'm not a fan of it. Um the third episode was much better than the first two, that's for sure, but I don't know, man. It's pretty hardcore right now. It's like um, to me, I've watched both and House of Dragon. It's totally redeemed <laughs> Game of Thrones since season eight. Um, way better than like, it's kind of apples and oranges, but it isn't. I, I mean, they're both right. fantasy. We both have great there's George Martin, and then there's also Token. And I think Rings of Power. Um, I don't find the token esque in it so far. I find that there's great scenery there's great filmography that but the i don't find myself getting drawn into the characters as much as i do the better there's better storytelling right now in house of dragon plus you know there's there's a lot of tangible lore just like there is with tokens so there's a lot of similarities but there's not a single character right in two episodes of rings of power right now where you're just, just like rooting for the mother lover <laughs> and you know getting drawn into the storyline it's just kind of it's it's mundane it's it's boring right now it's like let's get to the good shit i mean like i said it's beautiful scenery and beautiful you know but it's just the dialogue is weak to me yeah um no. <laughs> it's funny i mean um peter jackson's not involved in it right we we know that they, i don't even think they offered him any of it and uh what they pay 250 million or something like that for the token franchise? I forget something ridiculous. The rights, yeah. it was expensive, yeah. Oh, yeah. And this, this is, is like the most expensive TV show made, I guess. Yeah. So, right now, um, it's the underworld. <laughs> Remember when the Kevin Costner underworld was the most expensive yeah. movie ever made? And yeah. Waterworld, Waterworld, Waterworld. Waterworld. that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's Waterworld to me, but I'm hoping it gets better. I'll continue to watch it, but um, I. Well, Cantankers' comment, people are complaining they're deleting all kinds of reviews. Yes, for the first time ever, Amazon's actually instituted a comment hold or a comment yeah. review process for their streaming media because so many people have either been complaining about it or review bombing it. Um, I, for one, haven't even gotten past the first five minutes of the, the Rings show yet, so I'm still reserving my opinion. I want to love it. 
But yeah, they spent more money on this than any other show in history so far, as my understanding. So yeah. they better uh, sink or swim, as Solo Wookie was saying. They better get to the point. I just like the fact that there's more competition hitting the market and people are putting some uh, money out there and they're at least trying. Like, not everything's going to be perfect, not everything is going to be great. But if we as yeah. fans continue, you know, paying attention and talking about it, that's gonna it's gonna be worth their time, and they're gonna continue bringing stuff back. Yeah, it. it I'm not saying don't watch Rings of Power. It's just I kind of. I mean, I've been vibing with Solo Wookie. He's kind of nailed all the comments in the chat tonight. It's just <laughs> I like that he used the word "gooder." <laughs> it's much. <laughs> he's getting much gooder. But yes, it definitely. It's just where are we going? What's going on? It's like. Uh, it's it's fucking boring. Yeah. House of the you Dragons, know, not though. This is like let's just say it's boring. Yeah, and uh, I, I would say though, like uh, I don't know, I, the first couple seasons of Game of Thrones, I kind of felt the same way about the majority of the storylines. You didn't know who you were talking, who was talking. You didn't know who they worked for or what they were doing or what their drama was. They would. They, had, they were trying to balance so many different storylines. It took a lot of time invested, and you, like you'd get a little piece of it, and then a couple of episodes later, you get a little piece of it. It took a couple of seasons before I really got invested in all of those storylines, you know, with all of those characters to the point where you really you loved all of it. Now those actors and actresses are beloved, and oh, that was wonderful, but. I mean, I know the first few episodes of Game of Thrones were were outstanding, you know, and that's that makes a big difference. But you know, I, I'm trying to keep an open mind and just take this show, these shows, for what they are, different than what we've seen before. My kids love the the Lord of the Rings show so far. Um, it's cool. I, I don't know. It's it. I'm not sucked into the story yet. But if I'm reading a book, I don't get sucked into the story till you know a third of the way through the book. So I'm giving it that chance for now. Obviously, my kids aren't watching Game of Thrones, but uh, <laughs> kind, of, kind of same thing. Like it's not the same. It's in the same world, but I think it's way too early to be review bombing. Yeah, you know, just posting nasty crap, trying to dissuade other people from even turning it on. I think that's just stupid. And I don't. I don't disagree with those streaming companies throttling the reviews a little bit because we've seen some out and out campaigns to th to bomb to really bomb just over you know the fact that there are now black hobbits or harfoots like that's just no just let people watch it for what it is don't you know don't let people read some stupid crap about how you know, a month before Black Panther hits theaters, how it's the worst movie ever just because some activist, you know, troll group is trying to flex their muscles or whatever. So, oh, it was just trolls. Well, that's the thing. Usually, if there's something that's got great critic reviews, <laughs> I don't have no interest in watching it. <laughs> but then when it's got, you know, or I go off the viewers' views and not the critic reviews because I don't want to sit there and watch. A two and a half hour silent movie about growing a flower or some shit. <laughs> you know? I'm with you, Tony, and that yeah, it, it's going to take a little bit of working up. It's going to take a little bit uh, of time with some of these characters in the storyline to really get a, a more enveloped or become more uh, fully in, invested. And it could turn around and completely surprise people in four, five, six episodes, the end of the season or next season. Um, the fact that Amazon's putting their money where their, their mouth is, I hope it does pay off for them. I, my heart wants it to pay off for them. At the end of the day, this show, even though it's mediocre, is still better than what I'm watching on Marvel. Look, any, if the, anything from Marvel right now. Like, I've only just become slightly interested in She-Hulk because I saw a story about uh, Charlie Cox possibly showing up. Like, Yeah, plus... I think in the episode five of House of Dragon, there's a huge time jump too, where the uh, actress playing what's her name, Rhaenyra. I, excuse me, I butchered the hell out of names, but I think they like time jump to where that's recast like older actresses. Um, but to me, also, I'm not a huge Game of Thrones book reader, and I'm not a huge token reader. I read token books years ago, but from me, from like 
awareness and familiarity with both of them. I think what I like so far, even with House of Dragon, not just the story, but it's quicker. It's quicker with giving you tangible stuff that you can tie back to what you're familiar with already. I'm not getting that from Rings of Power. I'm like, what is that? Is that like a young ass Gandalf that just came in through a damn asteroid or, you know, <laughs> right? Yep. There's, so it's just easier for me to identify with something and grab onto it. I'm not getting that with Rings of Power right now. I'm going to continue to watch it just because I, I like those types of stories. I just hope it's not like. At See, that's end, where I, that'd be, we find that, out that Rosebud was a sled. So that's where I'm a little bit more excited. I grew up in my backpack all through junior high and high school was a copy of the Hobbit and or a copy of the Lord of the Rings. Those are the books that I religiously read all through uh, grade school or junior high and high school. So I'm a little bit more excited and my, my hopes are going to be a little bit higher going forward that this uh, does take off. Give Andy, us more violence. Andy, in rings I got a question for you, Andy. As a Tolkien fan, did you read, uh, and I, I, I'm not going to pronounce it correctly, but the Simulian? I tried. I tried five or six times over the last decade, and I get like a quarter or a third of the way through it, and I'm like, I need a break. That's. I think that's where, you know, a lot of people who claim to be Tolkien fans are kind of bashing the show. Oh, they're not doing this or doing that. Honestly, they are pulling, they're trying to kind of pull some stories from the Cimmerillion. I, I The Cimmerillion is like, I don't know. It reads like the Bible. Like it's it, not an engrossing story. There's stuff in it <laughs> and there's characters in it and there's things that happen, but it's not like you pick it up and like, you know, it's you not an easy it read. Down. It's not an no. easy read. No. So even Tolkien fans don't even understand most of the stories in the Cimmerillion. So whether they're pulling things from them or taking some creative license with that is, it, if people are complaining about that, I think they're they're lying. They they don't really know what the hell they're talking about. Yeah, and great uh, comments in the chat, and I think that there's a lot of similarity viewpoints where not hating on Rings of Power just needs to get good or quicker. Good, good, yeah. good. <laughs> Rooster. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> never mind. Well, I had a. Uh, Jamaican marksmanship instructor in the Marine Corps who used to say that he'd be like, sight alignment, sight picture, much gooder. That's what you want. <laughs> it's like, all right, much gooder it is. 